Welcome back to Makeup by Corinne. Stay tuned if you'd like to achieve this look. It's just a little bit of a bronzy, purpley kind of an eye that really focused on peachy, shiny, with a lot of highlight kind of a thing. A nice warm look for your skin. Just a nice peachy pale lip that will be perfect for anything for spring, day or night. If you'd like to get this look, please stay tuned. So as you can see, I already have this eye done. So it's just a natural kind of a bronzy look, perfect for spring. So let's get started. First product I'm gonna use is of course, Soft Ochre by MAC, the paint pot. Just gonna go in with a brush and brush that on my entire lid. Next, on a fluffy brush, this is the MAC 224 brush, you're going to go in and do your crease color. So the color I'm going to use is soft brown. Just a nice soft brown color like this. Get that on your brush and just slowly work it back and forth in the crease. So once you have your crease color on, we're going to go back and deepen it up just a little bit. So for that, I'm going to go in with my favorite brush of all time, the Outer B brush by the Gate. Love this brush. You can essentially do your entire eyes with it. So I'm going to go in with, let's see, let's go in with Brown Spirit. It's kind of a orangey, browny. Let's tap that on your little pencil brush. Get it up. And you're just going to... Just work that back and forth. Take your clean 224 brush. So same brush, the little domed brush, I'm going to, I found the coolest thing I have to show you this. It's a color switch and it just comes in a little container and it actually just looks like this, as you can see. You just rub it right on here and it actually changes the color that you've used. So just swirl it around and my brush is not clean. Love that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go in now with Sketch. It's like a purpley brownie color by MAC. So, you're going to go in and just deepen that V again. And then keep blending just like we did before. So now that we're this far, we have our darker color in here. Just to make sure everything blends a little bit nicer, we're gonna go ahead and take the same color that we used to darken it in the first place in the crease, and we're just going to go over top of everything just so everything blends seamlessly. So now that we have that all blended, that's when we get a makeup wipe. We'll just gently clean that away.
Now going in with the same double brush that we used, I'm going to go in with matte colored bronze. Tapping that on your brush, go directly over what we just did. So from here, we're going to take a smaller brush, just a little pencil brush, and use brown script, this color, and we're just going to line underneath of our eyes. Now in the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to go in the sketch. just a little darker. Now for the lid, I didn't forget. So we're going to take our bigger brush, just a real technique, techniques brush, sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my brow one. And I'm going to clean off the dome brush that we used. I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter color, which is Black type by Mac. I'm going to take that into the corner of my eye as well. Same brush again. I'm going to take all that glitter and pack that right on the right way. For liner, I'm going to take my favorite, Teddy, by MAC, which is a brownie bronzy kind of color. It looks really pretty with brown or green eyes. So I'm just going to line actually my whole upper lid, which I don't normally do. But today, just for a little bronzier look, I'm going to do the whole eye. Then with just an angled brush, run over top of that liner with the MAC sketch. For my lashes, I'm just going to quickly pop on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'll be right back. So moving on to face and actually pulling this all together. So now we have kind of a bronzy, purpley kind of a look. Pretty for day night, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to put that back and move on the face. So I don't know if you can see, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, some redness all on here. And we're gonna just focus on clearing all that stuff up. So to prep the skin, just spray with MAC Fix Plus. So at the beginning of this, I already went ahead and I put my moisturizer on. I did exfoliate my face today. And I actually used a new product, which was from MAC, and it has like lava ash in it, which is kind of crazy, but it worked really good. It gave me a nice glow. So I'm gonna go ahead with Benefit, the professional. Really focus on my T zone, my trouble zone, which bears most of the redness. So, what we're going to do is work on a little color correcting. So, to help get rid of some of the red, I have this from MAC. It's a nice two sided little, I don't know, contraption, I guess you call it. So, we're going to go ahead and just going to throw down some of the yellow spots that really have the red. Okay, so now that we have all that color correcting, I just blended it in with a beauty blender, a damp one. 
We're moving on to foundation and one of my all time favorite if you want something that's going to last all day and look beautiful the whole day, then Make It Forever HD foundation. You don't even feel like you have it on your face. So I use the color 118 and I just pump that and warm it up on the back of my hand and I'll take it on just a um, foundation brush. This is a MAC brush. Just a flat brush. Put it all around my face. Now that you've brushed it all over your whole face, we're just going to buff that in so we get a nice finished look. I'm just going to take it on a big tart brush like this. Once we have that all buffed in, that's what gives you kind of the airbrush look too. You don't always have to go for the airbrush. You can use any kind of liquid foundation as well. So moving ahead, I'm just going to do some brightening with concealer. Just take a little concealer brush and use whatever concealer you like to use. You can even, it doesn't matter, color, cover girl, whatever you have on hand. I'm just going to use, actually, hold on a sec, let me grab, let me use this cover girl concealer. It's one of the lightest that they sell, and I'm just going to go right in a triangle motion over here. And I just take my concealer brush and I work that right in here. Wherever you put your concealer, I see this time and time again, you gotta move fast and you gotta set it with a powder. If you don't, it's going to crack. So I'm just gonna take the Prep and Prime, just a translucent powder by MAC, and I'm just gonna dab them under here. For more control, I'm just going to use the back of the beauty blender. I find sometimes I have more control and the powder doesn't go over. I'm just going to dust it off with a big fluffy brush. Looking a little pale, let's bring some color back into the skin. First off, I take my all-time favorite powder that matches my skin, the Mineral, um, the Mineral MAC powder, and it's a medium plus. I'm just going to lightly dab that all over my face. Next, I'm going to go ahead with the beauty powder on the fluffy brush again. I'm going to take that all over. I'm 
I'm going to get started now. I'm going to move ahead and do bronze cheeks. What have you? My favorite all time, Matte Trace Gold. I'm just going to take that on a larger brush, one like this. And I'm going to go ahead where the sun, of course, would naturally hit your face. I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of contour. I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, this one right here. I'm going to go in with this guy on the bottom and I'm just going to chisel out the cheek area and I'm doing that on an angle brush. So again, go in there. I measure and always keep it down here. See how defines that now versus this side. So go ahead and do that on the other side. I thought I chiseled my cheeks out. I'm going to take that same contour color and on a little brush again, just run it here on the side of the nose. And I like to buff that up with a fluffier brush. Go ahead. And you can take the same angle brush that we used before. And you can actually define all on your job. With the tapered brush, this one's a Sigma brush, I am going to go in with the banana powder and I'm going to, this one right here in the middle, and I'm going to mix it in with this pink here shade and I'm just going to go underneath my eyes. Moving on to blush. I'm just going to combine a couple different colors. There's nothing wrong with experimenting with a few different colors if you want. Sometimes that's the best way you discover the color that you're striving for. So I am going to go in with MAC Eternal Sun because I want something a little more bronzy. Tap that on just this little fluffy brush like this. Now I'm going to take the tone Melba by MAC, this pinky tone right here, and I'm going to dust that actually right on top of the color that we just did right here. So after we have our color on, now is my favorite part, which is the highlight part. So I'm going to use the Glow Kit by Anastasia. I'm just going to mix in, let's see, these two right here. I'm going to mix them together. And before I do that, I'm going to use my um, Makeup Geek um, highlighter brush. I'm just going to go in, mix the two colors together. And again, you just want to hit right here to make that C formation.
ton of water and brush the Anastasia brush. I'm going to go in with this highlighter color right here. And just that about here. Head and do lips. I'm not going to do anything too bright. It's just more of a natural glowy look that I want today. Using my favorite Prep and Prime by MAC. Put that on, and it literally makes your lipstick stay the whole day. I'm going to use just a peachy tone. This is MAC's Shy Girl. same highlighter brush that we just used and I'm going to take a bit of the MAC Light Scapade Color. I'm just going to dust that on the cuticle and the bottom up. I'm using the color Boy Bay Lip Gloss by MAC. If you're comfortable with where everything is, that's when you use your finished spray and let that dry, let everything set. So this is our end look of our makeup that we did today. It's just a nice pinky, glowy, perfect look. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials from Makeup by Corinne. Thanks guys. Thank you.